Okay, so this one's Cornelius Paradox. I've been thinking about playing this game all day today. It's like, yeah. Oh, what the heck is this? Oh, continue. Damn, people. I don't think that lady over there noticed me. But this guy definitely saw me land. You there, Roderick? Like always. I figured out how I can convince you that I'm not cold and cruel. And heartless. <laughs> wow. Well, and unpleasant. And someone who... <laughs> He's gonna keep going. And someone who couldn't care less about anyone else. Alright, fine. Keep it down over there. Sorry. So here's my plan. Not only am I not going to hurt any characters, since you've done such a good job with that up, to, up until now, I'm actually going to help them. All of them. We're going to help every single person we meet in this book. Sounds good? We won't abandon anyone. Sounds pretty suspicious. <laughs> oh, come on. I'm definitely... A complete I'm the back. I'm I am definitely Wow, I'm eating this word. Okay, rewind. Oh come on. I'm completely different person deep down inside. You'll see. We'll straight we'll start with this guy over here. Hi, do you need help? M me? Uh no, thanks. I'm alright. Is he sweating? Oh, those are uh, <laughs> he shaved and he uh nicked himself. Well that's one less we have to help. I said, keep it down. Why are we in the library? Let's go find more characters. Hold on. What are we actually here in this book for? Oh, yeah. I need to find uh, Cornel Cornelius's wand. Magic wand? Most likely, yes. And it's a rush order, but I think we'll still have time to help everyone. Okay, but I'm going to keep an eye on you. You're acting really strange today. I won't let you down. Okay. Are you sure you want help, sir? Go to the message board. You see a message board packed with information. It's divided into several sections. Uh, the school's job postings, school's motto. Oh, this is a school. General information, complaints and suggestions, book. You take a slim worn book from its uh, folder on the wall. There are insults written all over the cover. Sheesh. Hey, so the locals don't like wizards very much. Stop taking up so much space in our city. We couldn't build a huge park. We could have built a huge park here. No one in this cursed neighborhood can sell their houses and it's all your fault. Damn. Headmaster's Robert Le Mentor Educational License Working Hours Children Visits oh, Okay, so this is a, a person In its own column Written in large letters is Uniting our differences And overcoming challenges Okay School shop posting Let's see Part-time reception is wanted Requirements female, age 50 plus. <laughs> Not quite a fit. Seeking system administer, hourly rate offered. What kind of administ administrator is that? Let's keep looking. Oh, this one's a perfect for you. Janitor needed. <laughs> Jeez, the shade. Hmm. Guess I have to try. Okay, let's talk to the guy again. He's a teacher. A man dressed in a modern suit sits expectantly on the, on the bench. His outfit seems very out of place in this old-fashioned school of magic. My god, he notices, he notices you looking at him and tries to avert his eyes as far from you as possible. Uh, what are you doing here? I have I'm waiting for my class to be free. My classroom to be free. 
Oh, so you're a teacher. He nods. What do you teach? Table, table manners? I teach programming classes here. His chest puffs out a little bit. Uh, no, uh, I've heard of it. It's not, it's hard to explain. He waves a dismissive hand at you and returns to his thoughts. You know how to get inside. I'm scheduled in already. You may have to sign up for an appointment or something. Okay. There's a job. There are job openings on the wall over there. Let's go see if there's anything good. Really? Let's see. No. System administer. Maybe that one. He said janitor. Well, maybe the janitor. Let's see. Let's see. Because I don't. She's gonna want proof that we have the background or the, the requirements to be an administrator. Administrator. Who are you? What do you want? The receptionist doesn't look at you. Her attention is fixed on the small TV set on her desk. Is there anything I can help you with? Um. Can I go inside the school? Oh, let's do this one. You help me. She, rise, she raises her eyebrows in surprise. But her words are still not enough to draw her attention away from the TV. That's right. I've decided to try and help everyone I meet today. Well, isn't that nice? Now I asked you, who are you and why are you here? Mm. This was a problem before. I lied. We got punished for it. I don't think she'll let me pass if I tell her the truth. Because as we notice on the board, they don't like wizards. So I'm going to lie this time. I have urgent business with the headmaster. Did you make an appointment? Uh, I don't believe so. And I'll ask you again, what do you want? You can hear the irritation in her voice, but you don't know if it's because of you or because a team a team in the football game on TV just missed a goal. Show her the job listings. Looking for a janitor and I'm looking for work. Yes, yes, we've been looking for... She stops. The receptionist rolls her eyes, but finally looks away from the TV and turns to you for the first time. Why are you all wrapped up like that? That paper, is that, <clears throat> excuse me, is that paper on your face? Um, I don't know. If I tell the truth, what am I going to say? Let's lie. I was in an accident. I'm very sorry. She isn't sorry. The receptionist opens the desk drawer and pulls a sign. And with a sigh, I'm sorry, I skipped over that. The reception opens the drawer desk and with a sigh pulls out a stack of pink, yellow, and green forms that puff out a cloud of dust as she drops them on the desk. Is that going to take long? Name. Tells her your name. Any allergies to cleaning products? Cleaning products. I thought you were all wizards. Answer the question. No allergies. Excellent. You're hired. Okay. Just like that. <laughs> okay. Here's a bucket and a rag. Go to the right of me. You'll find the entrance to the library. Wipe the dust off the shelves. Then come back here. I'll get it done. The library cleaning stuff okay let's go all right so we're in we're in the library nice all right let's see first thing i see is this old books and boxes that's a workbench shelf 
The shelves aren't going to wash themselves. And of course, they just had to be the biggest shelves I've seen in my life. I need to find... I need to go find water for my rags. Yeah, that's true. But can we look around first before we leave? What's in here? Is that up? Oh, mine. I think it's going to say the same thing for cleaning. Yeah, okay. So let's go get some water. Because <clears throat> we need to go to a bathroom or, or something. What is this? Restroom. All right. Oh, God. So dingy in here. It's gross. Yeah. Fill the bucket. Thank you. Anything else? There's already enough water in the bucket. Okay. The game is laggy again. I don't know why. There's nothing I can do. I must have to do, like I said yesterday, do something to my settings. Let's go clean. Okay. Shelf. Clean that one first. Shelves aren't going to wash themselves. Ah, uh, there we go. Is this really the only way to get inside the school? We take the rag from the bucket and wring it out. They don't let just anyone pass, uh, passing by go into the main hall. And that's where Cornelius's wand is. And the wand isn't only isn't the only thing there. What else? All those characters you said you were going to help. <laughs> uh, yes, right. I'd advise you keep to pretending to be a janitor, even once we get inside. You sigh and wipe a layer of dust off the first shelf. This isn't exactly how I imagined an adventure in a school of magic. On the second shelf, you notice an old piece of paper. It must be, it must have fallen out of a book. Read the paper. It looks like someone's notes, probably a student's. Okay, reading. There is a barrier that exists around our solar system, a wall covered in symbols. Okay. Each symbol allows us to use one spell. It is believed that the wall protects us from the external threats due to the fact that it is constantly being assaulted from the outside, causing, causing the gradual destruction of the symbols on it. What will happen to us when all the symbols are destroyed? Well, what will happen once they are destroyed. Toss to the side. Okay, don't worry. We won't be around to see that. Oh, because that's the universe in the book. Got it. You turn your attention back to the rag and bucket and dust on the shelves. Ten minutes later. Oh, I think this shelf is clean now. Nice. We should get the other shelves done then. Hold on, let me just... I know that's not enough. Let me just melt that. Oh, let's do this one. Oh, there's all of these needed. Okay. Sigh and start wiping the dust off the shelves. But stop when your rag catches on something. There's something scratched into the shelf. Um, look at it. These look like runes. Oh no, they're words. It says half, it says second shelf, third book from the left. Second shelf, third book from the left. 15 minutes later. All right, this shelf is done. And let's get started on the next one. Okay, so we don't do anything. Got it. Clean this one up. Uh, with the wet rag and the and in the bucket, you start wiping off the dust on the shelves. This boring it's boring work, and your eyes start wandering over the shelves. 
Coming to rest on an old looking folder. Look through the folder. You brush the dust off the folder, which is decorated with animal with a ah, with animals. With a man's head crest and an inscription. The Baratos Guild. There's nothing but dull documents in the folder. And nothing catches your eye at first. But then you, but then you find a handwritten letter at the very back. Read it. Dr. Merricks? Mer I don't know how to say that. Merricks? Hmm, I don't know. I'm asking you to please accept another guild into your ranks. I know you will protest, but I will unwillingly, unwillingly to discuss that. I assume you've read the reports already. However, there is a religious aspect to it that I left out because I wanted to tell you about it off the record. They use wizards solely for military purposes according to their beliefs. Wizards must use their powers to destroy the armies of the enemy, which of course in this day and age is quite different. Difficult. But all I am asking you to do is to pay attention to each of these students because once they finish their studies, they will be going straight to the battlefield. Wow. Hmm, okay. Keep dusting. You keep cleaning in silence. Wait a minute, Flea. I think this one's done. Okay. I washed I washed all the shelves and I should go back. Go tell the receptionist I'm done. Let's go. But what about up here? It looks like they forgot to put these books up for sale. Pull out the book. You hear a click. Woo, secret room. Let's go. Oh, what's this down here? Bookshelves. They were given five years to prove the theory that the appearance of magic in our world was due to divine intervention. The theory was eventually discarded. Take, what was that? Damp book. Ooh. So nothing else there. Writing desk. Ooh. There is an elegant writing desk under the staircase. It seems better. It's seen better days. There's a small lock on the desk drawer. Oh, a lock. That might. That must mean there's something valuable inside. Try and open it. I have nothing to open it. Okay, so we need pliers or lockpick. Okay, so we know we gotta come back here. Looked at everything. Let's go back and tell her we're done. All done? Yes. We'll see about that. Oh god, no! Reception groans as she stands up and goes to check your work. Hmm, not bad at all. Good she didn't see the door. Happy to help? You give, <laughs> you give Roderick's cage a satisfying, a satisfied uh, glance. Get going now. We have a new task. I wanted to ask about the wand. No time for that. Go straight to the headmaster. There was a spill in his office. That needs uh, cleaning. Straight down the hall and then to the right. Okay. I unlocked the door for you. Fine. Alright, so we're going here now. I wonder how how long each book is. I'd probably take all to the right, she said, right? 
the portrait missing? There's a magic wand in there? What? Hmm, excuse me. I didn't think we'd get it so easily. To what? That's Cornelius' wand, the one you were supposed to find, remember? All oh, right. Well, I guess I'll just get to help the characters in the next book. There is something, there is nothing but a thick glass panel separating you from the wand. A heavy lock hangs below the panel, keeping it shut. Look around. There's not a soul in the hallway. You can hear some people arguing loudly behind the door to the right. You continue scanning your surroundings and eventually notice a surveillance camera watching you from the ceiling. Oh, okay, I see. Is that thing working? What is it? That thing is uh, watching us, recording everything that happens. What do we care if it records? I think we should break the glass and grab the wand and get out of the book already. What's the hold up? Examine the wand. The wand looks old and the paint on it has started to peel in places. It's given off a slight glow and a low hum. Tug at the lock. I'd, I've seen, I've never seen a lock like this before. The pole looks like the hole looks more like a spiral. Ooh. I don't think a lockpick will work on it. Okay. Let's break the glass. I don't want to make a lot of noise. What's gotten into, into you today? You're being so cautious. I told you, I'm not really a bad person. Hey, you're new. Are you the new janitor? <laughs> Whoops. Hi. You see a middle-aged man in the doorway. Uh, mm. No, yeah. Don't back away like that. You're going to look suspicious. Yes, I'm the janitor. I'm the one who called for you. Come into my office. He opens the door wider. I really think we should just break the glass and grab the wand. And the man sta starts to reach for his belt where his own wand sits on its holster. Come on. Smashed case. Walk over to the man. Can you not hear me? Sorry, I was lost in thought. That wand is just gorgeous. The man slowly lowers his wand and silently wa waits for you to walk over to him. Okay. Alright, where is your spill, sir? What do you want me to clean? Come in, come in. An old man who is always in the office nods was also in the office nods briefly. Oh, okay, so they were the ones arguing. Got it. You found us through the job posting. Uh, say nothing? Anyways, we have a few stains to clean up here. Our former headmaster spilled a potion. He's slightly in... <laughs> Sweep the words of former. Yeah. I only spilled it because you distracted me. Don't pretend it's all my fault. The old man seems sincere in his claim. It doesn't matter. In any case, clean it up, please. What kind of potion? What kind of potion was it? He doesn't look up from his desk. A magic retention potion. I don't want to lose anything my ancestors passed down to me. He grins with the senile <laughs> face. I see. The headmaster responds with a sour grim grimace. It's just herbal beloza, be beloza tea. Get started on the first day. You start wiping at the first stain with a rag. The potion doesn't really budge. I heard you plan to sell everything from the Geomancy department too. 
Symbols are scattered last year, shattered last year. Why would we bother keeping that at all? Why indeed? That's our history. Let the history stay in the past. He turns his attention back to his work. The stain is finally gone. You can start on the next one. The second stain is bigger than the first and someone has already stepped in it, spreading the potion over the floor. First cleaning the shelves, now cleaning the floors. What's next? Toilets? No, I don't want to go into the toilets. Those bathrooms were gross. Uh, just keep going and get it done. Once we, once you finish, we'll go back for the wand in the hallway. You casually ask about the wands. That wand you have out in the hall is so interesting. The old man starts breathing angrily and sends a vicious stare your face, your your way. What? Why? The headmaster, the headmaster pauses for a second. Indeed, enjoy it while it's here. What do you mean, while it's here? The headmaster, the headmaster tenses up. He seems like he is about to make a very painful decision. Oh yeah, by the way, I wanted to warn you. Mary, Mar Maricus? Maybe it's Maricus. Mm. We found a buyer for the wand. He tenses up again after he speaks. Is he talking about your client? Whispering, I don't think so. Oh gosh. Well, oh, another spill. The old man drops his teacup on the floor and it shatters, splashing more potion onto the floor. Under the desk. You must be joking. You put the symbol of our school up for sale? I actually put everything in the school up for sale. No one wants to buy most of the old junk, but a few people from the capital excuse me, from the capital, expressed interest in that wand. How could you? The old man's head starts shaking. Hold on, you should probably sit down. The wand. Cornelius's wand. Are you listening to me? We will get enough money for it that we can... Uh, blah, 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 blah. We'll get enough money for it that we can go another six months without government support. Bam. You're going to regret this. I'll call a meeting of the school council to challenge this. To challenge it. He jumps up from his chair. He is mad. The old man hurries off. Well. He, he's going to take the wand. We need to stop him. Don't worry. He's going. He's gone crazy like that before. He's gone crazy like that about 10 times this week already. Wow. Besides, only I have the key to the case. He pauses for a second, clearly regretting telling you that. While you were uh, busy with the conversation, you seem to have finished wiping up the stain. Looks like I'm done here. Can I go? Yes, thank you. He turns to the door. You can hear voices. Wait, he turns to the door. You can hear voices coming from the other side, getting louder and louder. Now what's going on out there? Let me go see. Yes, leave me alone in the office. I'll look around and be nosy. All sorts of junk. Okay. Nothing else there. Got this table. Give me all the things. That's it. Nothing else? What did I get? Some scrap and some bread. Got it. Oh, I'm gonna have to fight. I don't wanna fight, chat. Okay, let's go. Let's not take too much time. Let's see if we can do two books tonight. Oh. What's going on here? A crowd of people has gathered in the hall. They are whispering amongst themselves, looking at the altar in the middle of the room. It's the wand, Headmaster. Sir, Cornelius' wand is gone. What? Fudge in hell. <laughs> Fudge. 
Damn it, the client asked me not to lose track of it. I told you. Everyone looks at you, not speaking. All right, then. He turns He turns to the gathered crowd. Who saw this? Who, blah, who saw it last? I think it was you, right? You, you left the office and then you must have walked right past it. But it was there at the time. Okay. The headmaster says, That's if we can take your word for it. Americus says, I hope I'm saying that name right, which I'm probably not. Probably not. Do you do you have any reason not to believe me? Indeed, especially when it comes to the theft of school property. Do you think I don't know about your secret stash under the library? Oh. The only one stealing here is you, giving away our heritage. Just admit you stole it and put it back where it belongs. I didn't touch it. The headmaster looks at the camera mounted on the ceiling. Well, we'll see if that's true. But for now, take note. I'm ordering the total lockdown of the school. No one's going in or out. No one goes in or out. And all of the teachers present, and you as well, ma'am, he nods to the receptionist. And you too, he points to me. Great. But definitely not you. All of you start searching for the wand. Yes, sir, everyone, he indicated, responds in one. Say nothing. The headmaster turns a questioning gaze on you. I'll find it, sir. You stand straight up. You stand at attention. All right, then, everyone, get to it. I'm going to check the surveillance camera footage but that's that will take some time I will be in my office if you so much as try to leave the school I'll have the police after you I'll be in my office crowd disperse so now what do we do we're going to find the wand okay Portrait. You see a portrait of a man with a bandaged hand. Hands, or rather, what's left of his mangled wrist. Ooh. Awful. I know, right? That's one of the old headmasters. Back in his day, wizards weren't allowed to wield wands. They held the spells in their hands to cast them like real men. <laughs> okay. Which, of course, the uh, didn't protect them from consequences of spells going wrong. I see. Okay. There's a portrait here that they took down. Looks like the portrait is missing. Okay. What is this? Main hall. Navi. Okay. We have a couple of choices here. Let's go to this bookshare. Stop right there. Whoops. I'm just a janitor. I'm just a janitor. Who are you? This one. Hmm. I guess the school really is out of money. Can't even buy her normal people. Wow. See that teacher over there? They're with the glasses. Uh huh. I guess. I don't really see. Go tell him they moved his class to the room downstairs. You don't even need to be a genius to realize that the students are plotting something. They're giggling and glancing around, and one of them is holding a headlock. Hmm. Oh, well, come on, help us play a trick on him. It's just fun. It's just a fun little tradition. And what do I do? He's asking for help. And he pro and we promise to help everyone. I don't think this counts. They're clearly up to no good. Why are you thinking so hard? It's just a harmless prank. We're going to lock him up in the basement for like 10 minutes, then let him out. I mean, just look at him. Coming in here. Sorry, I booped the mic. All full of himself. He's planning to teach wizards 
but he's not even a wizard. So, does that matter? What is he teaching you? As long as he doesn't teach you about magic, he's fine. Sorry. <laughs> you don't think the man in the cheap suit looks particularly arrogant, but maybe it's more obvious to the students. I'll think about it. Not doing that. Not doing that. You see a tall, smiling boy in front of you. Oh, great. Come on. Can I just go by? What a day, huh? The boy seems entertained by everything that's happening. He extends a hand to you. My name is Mikhail. You shake his hand. Nice to meet you. You're our new janitor, right? More like janitor slash detective. The headmaster taxed me, taxed, tasked, jeez, me with finding the last want, the lost want. You and the whole rest of the school, yeah. But I wouldn't expect the teachers to be in any sort of hurry to find it. Do you know who might have stolen the want? I don't, but to be honest, there's been a lot of weird stuff happening in the school lately. One of the older, one of the old teachers is acting strange. This morning, one of the second year students disappeared. There are rumors going around about undead in the halls. All kinds of stuff. Did he say undead? Tell me more. Uh, tell me more about the undead. Hold on, I never said I suspected anyone of stealing the wand. Although, that uh, rubs his chin thoughtfully. You're probably right. When there are no good leads, you have to look into everyone. Wait a minute, I'm asking about zombies. <laughs> Who didn't you ask about it? The undead in the walls? I think it's just the school legend. Mikhail pauses, gathering his thoughts, then continues. But now I but now that I think about it, people have been talking about them a lot lately. You should ask the students in the dorms. They might know more. Tell me about the old teacher. I haven't seen the teacher in a long time before. My okay, wait. So you haven't seen him in a long time, but they say he stopped showing up for lectures and spends his time hiding in abandoned classrooms. That's odd. Yeah, no, sounds suspicious. He has a daughter, but he has a daughter, by the way, who usually works down in the lab 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 laboratory. She might be able to tell you more. Thanks, I'll check it out. I'm afraid I don't, know, I don't know anything else about him. Okay. What's going on with the missing student? It's nothing really. Just some bad students no one can find. Some bad student no one can find. So there's only one. It's not missing students in, in total. Like, more than one. Got it. Sorry, chat. My eyes are itchy. I think he probably ran away. It happens every semester. So one student goes missing every semester. Okay. So we asked him, why do he think that? The School of Magic isn't really at all prestigious nowadays. We, c we could be studying to be lawyers or going to military school instead. Where do you think I should look? I don't know him, but I saw... The receptionist putting up some flyers about the research. You should ask her. Okay. So we have like three things. Teacher that likes hiding in classrooms. Missing student. Who's supposedly bad. And then uh, the old teacher. We can go ask his daughter. For this one, we can go ask the receptionist. What was the other one? Oh, the undead are in the walls. We can access students. Okay. 
Okay, nothing else, thanks. Okay. Boy. He, okay. Let's ask these students to see what they say. What about this student? Does he have anything to say? No. Nope. Some nerd, <laughs> he says. Wow, so rude. Dormitory, dormitory, dormitory. What is this? There's some stairs. Okay, so these are probably the different classes. Abilities. And whatnot. There's a student there. <clears throat> Excuse me. Sorry. Ooh, can they? Talk to this kid. Another girl should be back. Okay. That's the insignia. Oh, okay. So that's Barac Baractus. Baratus. We go over here. Find one more student in here. <clears throat> you can hear my voice is crackling. Wow. The sorry. Okay, what is this insignia? Ziplick. Ziplick. What do you want to know? You see a shifty looking student, the frame of a giant po uh wait what? The frame of a giant portrait is sticking <laughs> out from under his bed. Okay, I see it. What's that you got there? Nothing. It's none of your business. Decide to steal a painting from the school? The student looks at you slowly. So what's with the picture? Get lost. I said it's none of your business. Play nice. Alright. No one else has to know. Did you find something interesting? What's the deal with the painting? The student looks around nervously. Marty swore this painting would open some kind of secret cache. Marty? Guy in my guild. He came one evening with the painting all scared and asked to go home right away. Wait, what? So maybe this is the kid missing kid? A guy in my guild. He came back one evening with the painting all scared and asked to go home right, right away. I think someone or something bit him. Oh. Oh, okay. Maybe spite us. You have to hang the painting somewhere, but he didn't say where exactly. So he didn't see the huge pe <laughs> the huge space in the wall of the main hall, where a portrait was clearly missing. How about I find where to hang it myself? But what if there's something valuable in there, and I miss out on it? What if there's something dangerous in there? You can deal with it yourself. Fine. Tell me what tell me what you want in exchange for the picture. Oh. Now you're talking. Give me a strong drink. What? You want me to get you <laughs> You have some alcohol, kid? What the You want me to get you drinks for underage kids? Twenty five. Oh. My bad. <laughs> Then why are you still in school? Figure it out yourself. I was held back a few times in my second year. I don't think about it. Yeah, you do that. Okay. With a final wave, he pushes the painting. With a panel shelf, he pushes the painting all the way under his bed. Okay, leave. So it's under there. You're shady. All right, fine. Let's go. One more place to go. And then we can either go downstairs or upstairs. This is a nice place. Imperial. Lit fireplace. The heat from the fireplace assaults your face. It's so stuffy in here. It's summer. Why do... Why would you... Why would the fireplace be lit? Examine the fireplace. Ooh, are they burning something? An original fireplace. Above it, you see a sig- uh, sig- Symbol. Blah. I was looking at the symbol. 
Yeah, I'm gonna see what it is. Some of that looks like a lion. That doesn't look like a lion to me. I wonder what that means. Angry flames burn in the fire. Box of the chick. The girl shrieks back into her bed. Your appearance seems to frighten her. Don't say boo. Don't be afraid. I'm just a, <laughs> I'm just a new janitor. I look like this because... I never ate my portrait as a kid. Um, don't scare her. I don't. These are both terrible. I don't know what to say. Say this one. He's a girl that's out at ten to kick off. <laughs> Ask about the undead. Have you heard any rumors about undead in the walls? No, 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 no. There are no friends in the walls. She whirls around to look at the fireplace and turns back to you. Friends? What the heck was that? Why did you look at the fireplace? Is there something there? The girl shakes her head. Seriously. Uh, there's some definitely something in there. Yep. And we're gonna put out the fire. Let's go check it out. Um, the papers on your head start to curl up from the heat and the sparks are flying dangerously close to you. You can't see anything beyond the bright flames. Keep looking. You can't make out anything through the bright flames, but you suddenly feel you suddenly hear off far off voices. What? What's that? How did they get there? There's someone there. Hey, can you hear me? Silence. All you hear is the pop and crackle of the unburnt wood in the fireplace. I don't know how, but we need to get inside. Yeah, use the bucket. It's just a fire. You have a bucket of water. Put two and two together and you'll have an unlit fireplace. The stream of murky water flow, flows straight into the middle of the fireplace. The flames spark and hiss, but don't go out. It's as though the fire is absorbing the water with no consequences. Okay, so magic fire. Is this a gas fireplace? A what? There's clearly something fishy about this fireplace. I'll give you a hint. There's a spell on it. You can't put it out with water. Well, what can I use? Hmm, actually, you want. Actually, anything you want, as long as it's not water. How about a fire extinguisher? <laughs> uh, who? <laughs> Never mind. I think there's one in my building. I should go back to reality and check. Angry flames burn into. Okay, let's go back. Boom. I gotta go. Oh, jeez. I want to come back. What do you want? What? Yes, hello. Well, do you have the wand yet? I only just started the book. I'll snap to it. Clients being calling me and asking about it. What? Why such a rush? There's a lot of money at stake, Walker. A lot. Uh, this is something that should be rushed. It's better if I don't hurry. I need to be careful what I, about what I do. Yeah, exactly. And you know what's even better? Hurrying up and being careful. How's that for a plan? All right, I'll try and speed things up. Get going. So, what? Stop calling me. God. Where would that fire extinguisher be? Oh, come on. Oh, I can go into the kitchen. Oh, Lord. Coming. What? I'll get you you want. Just leave me alone. Anton Quint? Ooh. Oh, yes, that's me. Mr. Quint, I'm calling you. Ooh. Ooh. I'm calling you from the writer's police department. You better be careful, sir. 
Were you noticed? Were you notified that you would be contacted by... Yeah, would be contacted for questioning. Uh, questioning. It's about your neighbor. My neighbor? Old Harry? Hmm. We can't reveal his name over the phone. But it's not anyone named Henry. Talking about the man who lived on the first floor. Ah, on your building. What do I have to do with that? With it? Or the writer's police, for that matter. Didn't you know your neighbor was a writer? Oh. What? So you never talked to him? No. All this time he was a writer? He recently finished working off his sentence and became a free writer once again. However, a few days ago he was found. Found? Hmm? I think it will be more appropriate to discuss these details in person. Oh, when are you available for a visit? Ah, I don't really have time for that right now. How about noon tomorrow? That works. We'll see you then. Hang up. Oh, shit. He was found? What? Dead? Wait, what? I need to find a fire extinguisher. Probably one in the kitchen, right? Sorry if the game lagged. Nothing really changed with the renovations. Uh, heck yeah, take the bread. Heck yeah. Sorry about the lag. If it's lagging too bad. This game really doesn't have any um settings. I have to check my OBS stuff. I think my OBS stuff got messed up with the update. It's fine today? Okay, good. I don't have anything for this yet. We finally got the key. <clears throat> Fire extinguisher! It is mine. I'm taking it. Let's go back into the book. Ciao. Here we go. You shoot the fire extinguisher foam right into the flames. How was that for you? Hmm? An enchanted fireplace. Let's see what that did. Okay. Oh. Secret passage. I like secrets. Oh. What's in here? Next to the old bed is a covered, uh, chest covered in a thick layer of dust. I don't have anything. Walk away. I have some things that I can make. What are you guys doing here? Huh? A group of girls standing. A group of girls stands by the way out, but it's blocked off. Oh yeah, blocked off for stones. Their hands and robes are dirty and dust dusty. It looks like they're trying to clear the way. Call out to them. Hey, what's going on here? The girls turn sharply to face you. I get one of them whispers through her teeth. Did you, did you steal the one? How did you get here? Is everything alright? Shut up, several girls whispered at once. Okay. Suddenly, you hear a noise behind you. Oh, hi! Uh, you turn to see four dark silhouettes that are twitching unnaturally in a semi-darkness. Right, they heard you. Die. Now we have to fight. Are those undead in the walls that I've heard about? Yep. Stand back, I'll deal with them. Girls look at your ID badge curiously. <laughs> what a combat ready uh, janitor we have. We can take care of this ourselves. We are the Bertos. The Baratus. From where? We're combat wizards. Oh, I've heard something about you. Well, let me try and deal with them first. 
The girls move aside. Alchemist, welcome in, welcome in. Hello, hello, hello. How was your day? How was everything going? How was your Monday? The girls move aside. The dark figures get closer. There's no retreating now. Help. I'm gonna stun you. And I'm gonna slice you. Especially you. Oh! Ow, that hurt. Oh lord, have mercy, they're gonna kill me. Yay. So when I do my shield now, I heal. You finally completed straight. Nice. Good job. Ow. And I'm gonna. He's healing. So I'm gonna stun them. And then I'm gonna try to drain this guy. Go get some ink from him. Ow. Ow. Shield. Oh, come on, stop healing. Want to stun? Nice, nice. Are you freaking kidding me? Have to shield. There's no other way. I have to kill this one first. Drain him. I reach chat in a second. Oh my god, they're annoying. There, die. Ow! Please don't kill me. Thank you. Ow. Can't stomp. I will die. I'm gonna just try to keep healing. Ow. Can't stomp. Can I take your ink? Okay. Three hits and I'm dead. Oh, thank goodness. Missed. Thank you for missing. Nice. I'm gonna drain his ink. Thank you. Okay. Missed. Perfect. Heal. Let them try to hit me. Did I ever say I don't like turn bases, but I'm enjoying it in this game? <laughs> Oh, how about, how about, no, how about, I can't, I can't stun, how about drain? There you go. Let me heal all the way so I don't have to use my food. He's gonna try to hit me. And you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna drain. There you go, so I can get my ink back. Yes! Alright, I got him. Yeah. Oh, we could take stuff from them? Okay, cool. Let's talk to the students now. The girls look at you with interest. Not bad, but we would have been able to fight them ourselves. Are you alright? We're totally fine. We're just going to catch our breath, then head back upstairs. Don't hang around here. There might be more of those things. Uh, what happened here? Yeah, what happened here? That crazy girl brought us... Here, uh, brought us here to check out the abandoned classrooms. Oh, isn't this where they said the teacher was hiding too? But there's multiple ones, I think. Then she locked us in. Oh, the one upstairs. Then these undead started coming out. But we, unlike some people, know better than to go... And then to go, uh, around yelling and... 
and they didn't notice us. I think we need to have a serious talk about the girl upstairs. We, we do too. She cracks her knuckles. Ooh. Did you steal the wand? The wand? Oh, of course something interesting happens when we're stuck down here. Did someone finally nabbed Cornelius's wand. Ah, yes. Someone nabbed it. We've been here since this morning. There's literally no way we could have taken it. Okay, good. Makes sense. This one's less suspect. That's one less suspect for us. Okay. Say goodbye. Alright then. Don't hang around here too long. I need to get back to searching for... Okay, don't hang around here too long. Okay, I know, I know, I know. Okay. Let's keep investigating. Where are you going, bro? <laughs> Talk to the girl. Tell me what happened. The girl instantly burst into tears. I just wanted to free my friends. Feed? I read free. Oh, gosh. Friends? Did I hear that right? She wanted to feed the other girls to those creatures. I found them in the abandoned dormitory and they didn't do anything bad to me. I just wanted to do something to help them. Thoughtful. <laughs> Wait, hold on. There definitely aren't characters we should be helping now. Why did you use... Why did you use Cornelius' wand to raise the dead? What wand? What are you talking about? Oh, dang. Cornelius' wand. I thought she had it. <laughs> Damn. The girl looks at you in confusion. Another bad student who doesn't even know anything about her own school. Never mind. You wave a hand at her and turn around. It seems like she's not our client. Let's keep looking. I think the girl will be fine. Where are you going? What happened to the girls downstairs? Tell the truth. They're alive and really angry. If I were you, I would hide. The girl doesn't answer. Yeah, they're mad. They're gonna come after her. Alright. Where else can we go? Upstairs? And downstairs. We have two ways here. Hmm, let's go upstairs. Yes, everybody leave. Get out! Before I do anything on the desk, I'm gonna poke around. The drawer of the teacher's desk catches your eye. Pull it open, but it's locked. Now what? Stealing from teachers? Why not? If the drawer is closed, there must be something useful in there. I don't have a lock pick. So let's see if we can make one. We cannot. We need a piece of metal. Okay, so we still need metal. Oops. Um, can we go in here? I don't think so. I think that door's locked. Yep, the door's locked. Candle. Okay, let's get out of here. Okay, I was in that classroom, right? Uh, let's go in this office if they let me. Okay, I'm in. Is there anybody in here, though? Somebody is there. Okay, so be careful. Briefcase. This briefcase has to be here for a reason. Old habits die hard, huh? Decided to steal the headmaster's papers. Call it writer's intuition. There's something important inside. Not every prop <clears throat> in Shava's skin. What? You try to focus the you try to force the brief briefcase open with your bare hands and it makes a tremendous cracking sound. Oh shit. Do you think the headmaster heard you? I think so. Wait. Can I talk to the headmaster? The old headmaster is dinging through papers on his desk and doesn't pay any attention to you. Oh, okay, so it's that guy. Nonsense. Why would I do such a thing? You didn't want... You didn't want the wand to be sold, and so you decided the way, the best way to protect it. Besides, look over there. Points at the window. You see it densely... 
densely populated city full of tall buildings that almost block your sky. High up in the sky above you, above you can't just barely make your lines that looks like, wait, what? High up in the sky above you can just ma uh, barely make out lines that look like symbols. Okay. Jesus, that sentence is weird. So those are the sim. So those are the signs. Yes. And they're written there for us. Places a hand on his chest. Not for them. He indicates the city. Future letters in the sky that shine for us. But now, they're trying to bring us down to the level of or original humans. To their level. It doesn't matter if it's the wand or the books or even our damn quill pens. I don't want to give them anything. Because we need... Because we were made for great things. And they were not. That's not nice, dude. This is our world. That's not a good way to freaking see people. The headmaster turns away from you and continues digging through the papers in his desk. Any idea where I can get something strong to drink? The old man laughs into his beard. What? Are your nerves giving out? Just don't tell him about the student. He definitely doesn't need to know you're giving teenagers drinks. Yeah, I know that. Just need a little something. I don't have anything in here, but I do have a secret stash for a rainy day. The old headmaster opens his desk drawer and starts looking for something. Hmm. Could have sworn the basement key was here somewhere. Can't even... S I can't seem to find it. You should come back later. Maybe it'll turn up. What's in the basement? A hidden place with all the bottles of good wine. And you just need to pull the lamp on the wall to open it. Oh, excuse me. All right. I'll come back for the key later. Okay, let's talk to this teacher. The hunched man in the teacher's uniform stands motionless by the door. Whispering something incoherent. Uh, listen to him. One extinguish, two extinguish, three extinguish, four extinguish, five. Okay, he repeats the same thing. Are you alright? Touch your shoulder. Must be careful. As soon as you touch the man's shoulder, he pushes you away quickly and hides behind the door. How rude. You hear the locks closing uh, on the door. On the other door's side. Wait, what? You hear the locks closing on the other side. First one click, then two clicks. A third, a fourth, and a fifth. <laughs> okay. Examine the door. The door looks more like a work of art with interwoven metal strips on it. Ooh. In the middle of the door, you see five emblems depicting candles. They're upside down now. Pull on the door. It's locked. Do we need to deal with him right, right now? Well, he might be in trouble. And you did say you wanted to help everyone here. Could he possibly have the wand? I haven't found that in the text yet. So we should check. Look at the floor. Okay, on the spot where the teacher was standing, you see a small gold plated lighter. Oh, it's beautiful. You should take it. It might come in handy. All right. The lighter's weight is pleasant in your hand. You flick the wheel and the spark it gives off grows into green flame. Oh. Oh, wait a minute. Do I need to light candles? There was candles in certain places. Go in here. Candle here. Candle stick holding an unlit candle catches your eye. Look, that candle looks like the ones we saw in the strange teacher's door. Uh, light it with your lighter. 
You flick the lighter and the candle starts burning with a green flame. Impressive. Let's go take a look at the door and see if anything's changed. You got it. Aha. Yes, we got one. Perfect. Oh, wait, no, we gotta get the door. Okay. So let's just light all the candles. Was there one in here? There was. Nice. Good. Let's go into this classroom. There was one somewhere else. Not on this floor. Turn that on. There's nothing else in here. There was nothing in the storage room, right? Oh, it's locked. I need a key. Okay. There's just ch students chilling here. Is this like a study hall? Students are just ch chilling. Candle. Missing one. And I saw it somewhere. Ah, freak. Use some ink. A drop of ink jumps from your fingers and disappears into the lock. There's a click and the door opens. Well, let's go in. Aha! Found it. Writing desk. Let's go. Oh, there's a false wall. No? Okay. Light the candle. Yay! Whoa, you flick the candle and holy crap. Secret passage. Ooh, alcohol. Oof, a bottle of wine. I'll hang on to that. I was wondering, could uh, you avoid spending money on food in the real world, world since you can eat and drink in a book? Like I said before, everything I take out of the book doesn't last. I remember. But you'd be taking the food out of a book inside you. It works the same way. I'd just it'll just dissolve inside of me, which doesn't feel particularly pleasant, by the way. Ugh. So you've tried. Only with alcohol. Mm. Okay. That's it. That was cool. We opened up a secret passage. We have an alcohol thingy. Okay. That's for that student. On the other side. On the side? <laughs> Oh, you're talking about a side? Um, like in the hallway, Lumpy? I figured there was something in there because we can open that door. There we go. It's open now. Let's go. Ah, abandoned. Oh, this is the teacher. It's always running off. The man is on his knees. A mist, a mist scattered papers covered in different variations of the same symbol. That's the healing potion symbol. The healing magic symbol. Oh, how do you know? I knew right away that you were from the Inquisition. Do with me what you will. I no longer care. Oh, look at his face. I tried everything. He sits down heavily on the floor and starts slowly balling up his sh sheets of paper with scribbled writing all over them. I tried shifting the coordination coordinates of the symbols by the lowest possible degree. That's three years in a wizard's jail. Picks up a new piece of paper. I tried using regeneration magic on the symbol. That was stupid, I admit. I have no idea what I hoped would happen. He balls up a new piece, of, a new paper. That's one year of community service. Damn it! I even tried to buy a wand with a healing sim spell inside it, but you can find you can't find them anywhere. That's two years of hard labor. The man right raises his eyes to you and you see that his face is literally covered in strange painful looking cracks yeah i know i saw that 
Hmm, I never saw a disease like that in all my years of practice. Roderick, so you were a doctor? I believe so. The man notices your janitor ID and freezes. Wait a minute. You are not the Inquisition. No. Then just who in the hell are you? Your daughter is worried about you. You she asked me to check on you and see how you were. And judging by all this, you're not great. Yes, you're right. Out of all the damn symbols out there, the one that was keeping me alive was shattered. Oh no. Okay. Uh what is wrong with you? Uh do you need help? There's no use. He clings he clenches his teeth and co and convulsion passes through his body. Oh god. Uh, what's wrong with you? This is the progress that affects the rare type of wizard. They call us made wizards, since we weren't born with particular magic in our blood. We obtain that blood through artificial means. Oh. And now my body is rejecting that blood. And there's nothing I can do. There's nothing I can suppress the reaction. I can suppress the reaction. Yum. Can't you just drain the magic blood back? It's been inside of me for 37 years. I can't get rid of it that easily. My whole body is infused with magic. And now I'm going to pay the price. Try to cure him? Try, yeah. Are you sure? It won't be easy, even with ink. I want to try. Ah... Uh. The wizard sits down on the floor, eyes closed. You slowly approach him and sit down next to him. Oof. I'm not sure anything useful will happen. With these shackles on me, I can't. Give him some of your blood. Oh, shoot. I want to help him so bad. I feel bad. Well, I'm probably going to get hurt. Let's see. Oof. A drop of your blood falls onto the wizard's hands. What the? The wizard pulls his hand back sharply. Don't move. Let me finish. Ooh. Rewrite his illness. What? I have... I have ink and I have stuff to heal me. You concentrate. Oof, that took almost everything. You concentrate in a stream of ink jumps from your fingers onto the teacher's hand where it instantly absorbed where it <clears throat> excuse me where it, it is instantly absorbed suddenly the shackles around your wrist give off a burning coldness what kind of magic is this that's still not enough he needs more are you sure you'll be a, you'll be all right i hope so Oof. give him more blood I'm gonna go down to one bar. Oh, ouch. You squeeze your hand shut and blood starts flowing away with your ink. With the ink. You can feel all the memory of this illness being wiped from its wor from this world. The cold em emanating from your shackles is becoming unbearable. But you're finished now. What did you do to me? It crawls away from you. It's not important. I hope you feel better now. The wizard is still staring at you, shocked, trying to understand what is going on. You notice the cracks on his face starting to dissipate slightly. How are you? Are you alright? Yes, I think so. You did the right thing. I hope so. You rub your wrist. Icy pain shoots through them, and the skin starts to dry and cracks from the cold. Woo wee! That was intense. I'm not gonna lie. I wanted to help that man. Okay. So, we're gonna take this. And we're gonna take this. Oh, we have a lot of bread. How many more bars I need? Two more. How much does the bread give me? Two. I have four apples. Let's do two apples. Woo! Good thing I found all that stuff, right? What's this? 
I'll take it. All right. Hope you feel better, man. Feels different. Okay. Let's get out of here. I I think he did it. He's just standing there. I think he did it. All right, kid. Here. Take your drink. Took you long enough. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Are you going to take it or am I leaving? Yeah, yeah, I'll take it. What was it you wanted? The painting? Go on, it's ugly art anyway. He pulls a huge painting out from under his bed. Take the painting. Thank you. Careful with that wine. Yeah, child. Face 25. That's crazy. So we got the painting. The painting goes in the hallway. Let's just do that real quick. We also can go downstairs. Um, we also have to go talk to the old headmaster to see if he found the key for the basement. Okay, the porch just slides right into place. Oi! Oh, secret room. Let's go! Oh god, hi. You suddenly stop dead in your tracks. I'm dead. Don't make any sound. They haven't noticed us yet. Uh, no, I need to be in here. Hey, are you those undead Mikhail talking about? The dark silhouettes raise their heads and turn to you. Why did you do that? Now we can't run away. The undead are heading straight for you. That is fine. I'm gonna stun them. Yeah. They're probably gonna hit me now. <laughs> Ow. Son of a nice person. Oh, Limboli. Shield. Oh, I would have gotten two hits. Yeah. Give me that ink. Ow. Please don't kill me. Okay, heal. Yeah, I need to get rid of them. I might die though. Uh, let's take an apple. There we go. Even if they all hit me, I'm gonna try to kill the one in the middle. Heal you. There you go. And then I'm gonna heal. Woo! Okay. I'm gonna drain. I'm gonna stun and drain. Try to drain you. Got you. And then I'm gonna heal. There we go. You missed. I'm gonna drain you again. Whoops. Go. Thank you. Go ahead and hit me. That's fine. Gotcha. I need this room. There's a reason why we're in here. Chess. That's it? That's why we're in here? Dead. Oh, undead has stuff. Thank you. Did I get metal? Damn it, I need some metal. Anything over here? Damn. Okay, fine. <sighs> okay, if I get into another fight, I'm gonna be into trouble. Alright, so... Let's go talk to the receptionist really quickly. Then we're going to go upstairs to the headmaster to see if he found the key. And then head down to the basement. Um, have you seen anything suspicious? Yes, a janitor who keeps poking his nose into things that aren't his business. You should help me find our missing student instead. A second year, right? 
I heard a little about him already. Do you know anything about his disappearance? Uh, I know that he's an idiot. Okay, what was his name? Okay, Medius. Last name? He's part of the Zitlik Guild. They don't have last names. Okay. What does he look like? Like an ordinary student. Um... Why are you so sure he's he isn't in the school? Because the school is locked down until we located the missing wand. Oh, right. Who might know more about him? His friends. What friends? His friends are always smoking in the bathroom. Try asking them. Smoking? You let them do that? It's not my problem. My job is to keep unwanted types from walking into the school. Is there anyone else who might have seen him? I don't know. Maybe the movers. Maybe the movers outside. Not for any questions. The headmaster taxed me with. Yeah, let's tell her that to see what she says. Congratulations. <laughs> yeah, let's leave. Okay, so bathroom, and they're smoking. Children, what are you doing? Several students are smoking in the toilet stall. We lean against the wall to eavesdrop on their conversation. Paolo is such a traitor. The whole school was talking about him yesterday. What's he do? What he do? He lit the candle, if you can believe it, with his wand. Hmm. I see a puff of smoke. Yeah, no way. Even the headmaster can't do anything like that now. The new one, definitely not. Or he, or he tied the match to his wand. Oh, <laughs> gotcha. More likely, just like Mendias did. Remember? Where'd he go anyway? Uh, he was in the infirmary, infirmary last I heard. Sure, all cozy under a blanket. I bet he got the hell out of here like he planned. Haven't seen him since morning. I thought he was all talk, but I guess not. A hiss of cigarette butts uh, being put out marks the end of the conversation. The voices fall silent and the door opens. You press yourself against the wall and they don't notice you. Someone named Mondays ran away from school. Do you think he took our wand? Mm, I don't know. We'll need to check. Hopefully he hasn't gone far yet. Okay, well, I guess we're going to the basement without a key? She also said the mover's outside. Do you think we can go outside of the school? Let's go downstairs first. Okay. The heck do we have down here? Oh, yeah, the wine cellar. Yes! Got a lockpick. Guys, we got a lockpick. And some more bread and some cloth. Let's go. Well, I'm, I need to make this first. Okay, that's done. Let's look at this door real quick. It needs a key. Okay. Um. What should we do now? Uh, the runaway kid, the student... The students have no idea where he is hiding either. If he's not in the school, then he... Where can he be? Let's go outside and see if we can ask anybody outside something. Boxes. I always look around before talking to people. Boxes. Sitting, uh, sit on the ground, ready to be shipped out. They're wrapped up with plastic ties. Uh... Oh, you quickly cut through the ties and open the box, trying not to make any noise. The boxes contain someone's uh, belongings wrapped in paper. You find a new, you find a few useful items among them. Rope? That's the first time I've gotten rope. Ah. You move all the junk in your way aside and your box, and open the box with your tape, with no tape. Shh, don't give it a, don't 
give me away. What? Is the kid? Oh my god, child, what are you doing? A scrawny, scared-looking boy is sitting in the box with frightened look in his eyes. His robes are covered with crumbs and sawdust. Okay, man. Uh, Mendus, it's your choice, whispering. Since you don't have the wand, I couldn't care less about the other stuff. You, ch you close the box and walk away. That's one less mystery now. Plus, we definitely helped him, wouldn't you say? Well, according to the plot, he ends up having a pretty good life outside the school. Okay, good. Behave. Two students are whispering excitedly to each other in the middle of the hall. Did you hear? They found the wand thief up in the attic. Who was it? I don't know. I think it was one of the students. Both the headmasters are up there now. Oh. Attic? Oh, yeah, in that classroom. You hear that? Let's get up to the attic quickly. You say that like you aren't already, you haven't already read the ending and found out who stole the wand. The truth is, you changed the plot a little with your actions, so I don't actually know how it ends yet. See, I told you, there's always consequences when you start changing stuff in these books. Can you tell me how to get to the attic? The students turn to look at you. Up the stairs into the classroom on the left. The attic door is at the back of the classroom. Yeah, I know where it is. I know where it is. We've already seen it. Okay, what's gonna happen here? What on earth were you thinking, you little idiot? Give me the wand. I'll deal with him myself. Kyle, I knew it. I told you. Let's just calm down for a second. If any of you take even a step in my direction, I'll break your stupid wand in half. Ooh. You're both get a piece. Except for you, Scarecrow. He looks at you. <laughs> what the heck? He calls me a Scarecrow. Yeah, I thought we were pals. Holy, you don't know me. Looking at you. What's the janitor doing here? I heard noise and came to see what happens. Um. What's happening? Uh. I'm not a janitor. Um, I don't want to set the kid off. Well, you know what? Let's just set him off. I'm not the janitor. Who are you then? A plumber? Ah, yes. Are you here about the clock toilets? I. I'm here for Cornelius's wand. I am a writer. Uh, let's say I'm a writer. I'm a writer. You stand up straight. Fix the hair. On your head. Ooh. I'm here for Cornelius' wand. Another one. Here the coils. Why do you want it? Someone's going to pay me well for it. He screams. Hold on. When you said they'll pay you well, how much is that? Clenches his chest. Shut up. I have the wand. And I'm the one who decides what will happen to it. Alright. Alright. I was planning on this I was planning on deciding its fate quietly by myself. But now you're involved. Hang on. I understand us three, but why do you even want it? None of your business. Stay where you are. Let's just calm down and nobody move. The old man suddenly pulls a revolver, oh my god, out from under his robes and starts waving it around. In all directions. He's gonna shoot someone in the eye. Either you give me the wand, you little Creighton. You'll be sorry. Creighton, you'll be sorry. Oh, damn. Where the hell did you get a gun? He clamps his hands on his head. Calm down. Just calm down. Grinning. I thought you were opposed to technology, old man. Give it to me. He reaches out for the wand. Keeping the revol revolver aimed. Oh no, do we take the gun or do we leave the old man alone? Ooh, these decisions always make me nervous. I'm gonna take the gun because he's... Uh, I'm just gonna take the gun. You quickly take the revolver from his grasp. Mikhail flinches, expecting you to attack him too. Stop waving that thing in my face. 
Hey, give that back. Kyle bends. Oh no, bends Cornelius's wand enough for it to crack slightly. Ooh, that's not good. At the same time, you hear the echoing sounds ringing out from somewhere up above. Everyone freeze! Oh shit. Do you think this is a joke? I'm so sick of your slip. Let slide rings stickering <laughs> and you're panicking you little and your weird head oh <laughs> shy face guys there's no more magic we are all realized that long ago so stop clinging to the illusion that it's still around i know why you care about this one so much old man but it's time to move on stop being indecisive he looks at the new headmaster stop living in the past he looks at the old headmaster and stop lying he looks at you any last words for no please any last words from you three they're going to regret this who do you think you are you brat Mikhail turns his gaze to the new headmaster I understand how you feel, and I also want to move forward. But can't we find a way that doesn't involve breaking wands? He only snickers and responds and turns to you. Oh, shoot. I gotta have to try something with the ink, because if I try to grab it, he's gonna break it. Ugh. Decisions. Yeah, I'm gonna use my ink. You think you know everything about magic, huh? But did you know that it's not dead? You grab the old man's wand from his belt, lift it with ink, trying to summon a fireball from the other end. But instead of a fireball, the ink just leaks out from the tip of the wand and starts tripping on the floor. Ugh. What the hell was that? Had enough of this. Oh fuck! He broke it anyway. Time stops. Your eyes fall on Cornelius's wand. First one, then the other. They're both falling through the air. What am I seeing? Two wands? Whoa! Why am I seeing two wands? Slowly, it dawns on you. Huh? What are you talking about? The left and the right half of the wands land on the floor at Mikhail's feet. The old man stares at the floor, mouth open, unable to speak. The new headmaster sighs softly. Mikhail looks at his hands, where a few slivers of wood still remained. The wand is gone. So does this mean we fail the order? You start to hear a loud rumbling sound from somewhere up above. I don't know. The phone call from before pops into your head. Conversation about how it was absolutely essential that you complete this order successfully. The old man falls to his knees, trying to piece the wand back together. You prop him aside with your feet and pick up what remains of the wand. Give it to me. The old man seems to have gone completely insane. The rumbling sound gets louder. What's happening? He looks at the ceiling. We need to go. The old man starts laughing loudly. The rumbling completely drowns out his laughter. We need to go. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oops! <laughs> I freaking put tape on it. <laughs> oh, my God. Are you crazy? You freaking put tape on it. Oh, this man. Nothing else we could have done. I wasn't going to shoot the kid or try to grab the thing. Oh man, I wonder if I could have done that differently. But that's okay. 
we get the ending we got you know just waiting for the game not to bug out like it is okay well that's one book done well i can explain what happened you better see for yourself Oh God. No payment. Where am I? Oh shit. I'm in so much trouble. I'm dead. <laughs> These people are gonna kill me. Okay, I'm on my way. Well, here we go. Run. <laughs> Perfect timing. <laughs> I said, well, here we go. <laughs> Perfect timing. Oh, gosh. Well, here we go, he sighs. Hello? What the hell were you thinking? 